Hey guys, welcome back to Boxer Gaming and a new episode of Boxer Tries. So as you can see on the screen, this is uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown, the long-awaited sequel to um, the XCOM franchise and uh, this one is uh, pretty good. It goes back to its roots, so it's sort of a technical um, turn-based strategy game sort of thing. Uh, it has um, it has so much stuff. It's actually pretty cool. Um, I'm not into XCOM at all, but I'm um, I have spent so many hours on this already. So let's get right into it, and I'll show you whilst we go. So we're gonna do this auto save here. Uh, so the story basically is you are a commander of a special operations thing. Aliens are invading, all that standard, blah 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 blah. Uh, there's no story. To, well, there is, but it's it's not really a story. So. You are the commander of this base, and this base you can control yourself. So um, you have your research right here. So I am currently researching uh, something which doesn't show, <laughs> but I also have these available. And that is Dr. Varland. She is a very German. And then um, we have engineering, which can help us make new weapons and stuff. Now, in general, the way it works is. You kill some aliens, you grab their body parts and all that stuff, and then you research them, and then from that research comes a new item, and you make that item in engineering. That's sort of how it works. And if you've got the foundry, which you have to build, uh, you can upgrade your weapons and stuff. You have your barracks, so you have your soldiers. Uh, so these are my soldiers. I don't have many at the moment, uh, but you can hire more. They're very cheap. And there's a leveling system as well, which I'll show you. Now, this guy's is a um, colonel so he's got a full set of uh, stuff so when they first level up they get they get to be a squatty and that determines straight away if they get to be an assault a, a sniper a heavy or a support um, and you can't choose that that is that's just random uh, and they get the first skill so this first skill this guy's an assault so his first skill is a running gun which allows him to um, Run, uh, shoot even after he runs twice in one turn. I'll show you what that all is about and then you can choose between some of them as well uh, it's, it's pretty cool It's pretty cool uh, Then you got your loadout. So these are the armor and stuff you can make in the engineering bay and You've got weapons pistols and sort of an extra slot which have frag grenades arc throw which is like a stun thingy uh, med kids and all that good stuff and oh you can also customize them which I've never done because well whatever <laughs> whatever uh, yeah so you I'm actually kind of enjoying this aspect as well because something I didn't expect at all is that you get kind of attached to people as well because this guy for example well it's a girl the sniper she's been with me forever and she's killed so much stuff She's killed 30 aliens already. She's been on 15 missions with me. And she's pretty good. She's uh, f she's at uh, the maximum level, so she's pretty good. Now, if she dies in a mission, she dies, like, forever. <laughs> and then you have to start with a new recruit, for example, this one, who has absolutely nothing. He doesn't have any army, doesn't have any good weapons yet, uh, which I'll have to give him. He doesn't have any abilities, as you can see. <laughs> so, yeah, that's not the ideal thing. So then you've got your um, officer training school. Now that's for you yourself. Uh, they're just sort of passive bonuses that you can get. Uh, these squad sizes are important, of course, so you can take more soldiers in a mission. Cool, so that's the barracks. Now the hangar. Um, I'll show you that later, but you can buy, you can buy ships. Let that be enough for now. <laughs> so then I've got a situation room. Now this thing is sort of your... Um, the hub of where you can see how everything is going so basically the whole story is aliens are invading in separate parts of the world and they want something but we don't really know what yet uh, and all the countries are sort of asking for help and you sort of scan for uh, potential threats and then you choose one of them and anytime you choose for example say United States um, Brazil and Germany at the same time then you have to choose one of them the one you go to if you finish the mission uh, their panic level goes down and the ones you didn't go to, their panic level goes up. And eventually they'll go get angry with you like France did for me. Uh, they're not on my cancel anymore, so I don't get any bonuses from them, uh, etc. So that's uh, that's about it. So let's get uh, right to the meat, shall we? Um, so this 
is your um, globe thing. Now you build satellites and you orbit the satellites above uh, certain regions of the Earth. So for example, I've got one above England, I've got one above uh, Germany, I think that is. I've got one above Ch uh, Russia and one above, above Australia, of course. Gotta protect Australia. And yeah, and then you also get your um, fighters everywhere. Now if you scan for activity here, it's gonna pass the time. And the events here on the side, they're going to be passing as well. So upcoming events, scope upgrade, which is in the foundry, uh, ghost armor is at research, as you can see, and this council report is in 25 days. So they sort of assess how you're doing and give you some bonuses sometimes. Now, if you scan for activity, the time is going to run and it's going to scan for anything in these areas where you have satellites. And if it finds something, it can be either a UFO, it can be a landing, or it can just be like an interception. And that's why you have the hangar. You can buy planes that can intercept UFOs. Anyways, let's get right into the meaty part of this uh, game. And that's the, the combat. Contact. So I had one uh, set up already. So this one, UFO Zero has landed. Location China, small scout. Okay, so send the Sky Ranger. Then I can choose my uh, my my um, soldiers, which they all have good armor. Uh, this one doesn't have a good weapon yet, which is a bit disappointing. But uh, I don't think I don't think I made that for her yet. Hmm. Oh yeah, I did. There you go. Nice. So they all look uh, nice and pretty. I am kind of attached to them. So then you leave, just like that. Easy enough. And I'll have a drink whilst this is happening. Ah, yes, better. So, begin assault. Little loading screen, very short, thank God. Very nice. And for some reason he's not talking, but he's supposed to talk, so... <laughs> and then you land. And that's it. So... This game, it, it does have a story, so you have some main objectives, but the main sort of meat is the combat. So you just, uh, there's a UFO, you go there, the UFO lands, you, you get out, and you try and kill all the aliens, and blah, 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 etc. It goes on. Uh, now, graphically, it's it's not too bad. It's not great, but it's it's not bad. Uh, I don't think it's all that important on it with a game like this, to be honest. Now, this is the map. Uh, is this the alien ship right away? That's not an alien ship, is it? Yeah, it is. I think so. That's weird. I've never seen that, that it happens straight away. Now, you can zoom out, zoom in, as always. Uh, now, I'm very confused as to what's happening here, because I've never had a alien ship so close to my landing spot. So, I just sent him here. Now, every uh, soldier has two moves within one turn. Um, so, I just moved this uh, girl here, the sniper. And you can see it's half half empty now. So she can do one more thing. Now I'll set her an overwatch. Now what this does is it'll sort of put her on hold. And when enemy, 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 when any enemy comes within line of sight, she'll shoot at it. Um, so I'll do that with you as well, if you don't mind. And I'll show you the other um, things as well later on. Um, where should I send you? Maybe behind this tree. Oh, there we go. They are mind control ones, and they are evil. I bloody hate them. With a vengeance. Like, they are so annoying. Incredibly annoying. Uh, maybe later on in the game you get something again. Oh god, those as well. Those are very strong. Uh, they don't die. Well, they do, but not very. I oh, see she was an overwatch, but now she's got him in line of sight. So, shoot, lady. Miss. Great. Uh, one of the that's one of the things that annoys me about this game. I don't know if it's just me or if it's this game in in, in particular, but these are supposed to be the best. Holy, what the! <laughs> See the physics on that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so these are supposed to be the best snipers and the best military personnel in the world. Um, they suck. Like. Someone can be standing, like this guy, there could be an alien here, and he would miss four times in a row. It, it, it's just a bit annoying at times. Um, and of course, but the aliens do that as well, so they keep missing as well, but it's just, it's just a bit weird. Now, the other thing about this game is that in the previous uh, XCOM, well, the old one, the old, old, old one, it was a scary game, like it was very tense. It was not scary, scary, but it was just tense. 
Uh, but this not so much. It's it's very um, I don't know. Like any time an alien shows up, it actually sort of announces itself. So it's like, hello, I'm an alien. Please come kill me. You know, like this. <laughs> Uh, so it's not really too tense anymore. Um, okay, so I've got Snipe here, so she's got... Okay, is there a shout out? No, that was for work. But I can't work now, I'm busy. <laughs> uh, so she's got someone in sight, and I can either fire, or I can do a headshot. Now headshot is a skill that she learned, and that will just give it more uh, critical chance. So, who should I hit? Now, you, when you click on it, you go into this sort of third party mode, be, uh, third person mode, but you can't really do much. Uh, with tab, you cycle through the enemies, you can also click on them. And I'll show you the chance to hit, so 41. Now, this is one of my main caveats for this game. 41 actually means 10%. <laughs> like, it, it, you almost never hit anyone when it's 40. And of course, in this video, I'm going to hit every single time, but no, there we go, we missed. But, I did shoot the UFO into pieces, which is... The cool thing about this uh, game, to be honest, uh, you can blow up pretty much everything. Now, I have to think here. These guys have grenades, and these four are all together, and they're gonna die horribly, I think, when they, if they stay like that. So, uh, how do I split them up a bit better? Here, maybe. Yeah, I might be able to flank them as well. 59, 45%, 85% chance of a hit. That's not bad. Let's do that. <laughs> Miss. Of course. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, this is my... my. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to blow up this part. Because the mind control ones, I don't have any defense against it. So they will just mind control three of my guys. Three, three out of six. Uh, which sort of ruins the whole game. Oh god, he's angry. <laughs> so who else do I have? Because I want to kill these things. I don't care about the rest. I just want to kill these. There you go. Here, catch a grenade. Oh god, didn't kill him. Oh god. That's not fair. Can I kill him with this one? 69% chance. Okay, well, let's see. One. Uh, no, I don't want you to shoot. I want you to get the hell out of there. Wee! Run around the circle. Oh, sh God, he's going to shoot me. So, this alien was an overwatch as well. But that's okay, he missed. So, this is. See how close this is? He can miss, but it's still 60% only. And of course, it's sort of inherent with a game like this, but it sort of still annoys me sometimes. Oh, that's just me. Radio. Now you can turn these sort of cutscenes off as well, which I do sometimes actually, because it's kind of. I mean, they're cool, but oh god. You're so dead. You're gonna be shot in the face. <laughs> um, they're kind of cool, the cutscenes, but they get really old, because they're all the same. So after two minutes of playing, you've seen them all, and oh god. Suppressed, okay. So suppressed means that she has a less aim, so it's harder for her to hit anyone. And if she moves, he gets a free shot at her, so that's not too great. Okay, now can I shoot you 39%? You're the only thing I can shoot. That's not good, so we're going to move you. I was thinking maybe here. I know it might be a little bit silly, but... Uh, 3%. 21 percent 31 how like, how can you not hit him <laughs> that's ridiculous how can you not hit him he's 20 he's never mind you're a sniper but you can't hit from 20 yards that just seems annoying okay so 37 percent chance to hit him look at that Yes, I know I'm being shot at, but still. Uh, that was not a miss. He's got a burn mark. Seven percent chance. Seventeen percent chance to hit. Really? Target still up. No ammo. 
I like his weapon. There we go, that's one down. Uh, and then no targets available, that's annoying. Okay. So we move up here. I'm a bit afraid for her life. <laughs> uh, there's no cover here anyway, so... Can you shoot... Him. Okay, yeah, try it. I'm not patient enough for these games. Not at all. Which is uh, kind of a problem, I guess. So running gun, so now I can move the full length. So for to this yellow. And still shoot afterwards, which you normally can't. Uh, so that's pretty handy. And uh, I'll move here. He's got a lot of health as well, by the way. Oh god, three more. Great. That's why you don't run in like this, because he's going to die so badly. He's pretty much dead. Because he's going to get flanked. 100% hit, thank you. There you go. Physics are a bit weird. I haven't noticed that before, though. So it might just be you guys watching. <laughs> 31%? No, thank you. That that's that's that, that's ridiculous. What we could could do is you no, know, it's dashing as well. I'd like to get a little bit closer in inside the building. Maybe I can lob a grenade there. Oh, no, not far enough. Okay, let's try shooting the. There you go. 30% and it hit. It's amazing. It's amazing. Don't mind control. Don't. Good. Oh, also at him. Everyone's shooting at him. Good. Great. Nice. <laughs> Look, he's gonna get flanked by everyone. He's dead. Oh, he's one of my favorites. Suppression, okay. Oh, okay. They're not actually shooting at him, are they? Nope. That's weird. Uh, AI is, is, is um, uh, meh. It's, it's not, s oh god, this is the lie. Anyway, it's, it's not, okay, she's dead. So badly. That was my favorite sniper. My max level sniper. Yay. Uh, yeah, AI is not too bad. But I wouldn't call it particularly good either. How can you... Okay. Um, it's... It's... Um, I don't know how to say it. it. Well, it is dumb, I guess. You know? It like it picks the right choices, but it has no idea about st strategy or anything. Uh, not saying that I do, of course, but... Uh, like, that was dumb. That's alright. Uh, but yeah, it, it just doesn't seem to have any... Anything... I know I'm getting in range of him, but that's fine, because I just want to get rid of him. So, do you want to shoot him? No, because you're being suppressed, so you don't have any aim whatsoever. Uh, so try it anyways. Oh, there we go. Hit him right in the face. He's right in the face. Okay, so you... Now, I could... Do that. Which is kind of fun, you know. Now the problem with using explosives and stuff, yes they're very good, but you don't get any weapon fragments from it. Um, so you can't research as much, and you can't en uh, build as much stuff, you engineering stuff. So, not good. Uh, but you know, I just want to get through this, whatever. Whatever. And um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to play this a lot more, to be honest. I thought I would, um, but pretty much... But in, I've been playing this for about, I, I should say that, probably about 8 hours or so, or six, 6 to 8 hours. And I was really into it for a long time, the whole time pretty much. And then suddenly, I just I just couldn't be bothered anymore. Um, yeah, I don't know, there just doesn't seem to be an, enough to really keep me playing. Like, not enough depth, uh, just not enough interesting aspects of the game. Whee. So he's got a special called holo targeting, which makes if he shoots at someone, then the rest gets a bonus aim. Um, but yeah, it, it just seems a l too random. 
And I know that's sort of inherent with these games, but this seems very random. He just hit me. Oh, there's more of them. Oh, great. Uh, so I have to prepare for them as well. Hmm. First of all, can we get rid of this bloody alien there? Nope. Now, maybe I'm doing it wrong, you know. Maybe I should flank more, which probably I should. Um, but it seems also, even with flanking, I'm going to call it random. Because you never know where the aliens are going to pop out from. So with flanking, you have to be very careful. And by that time, you might as well just kill him. I mean, that's at least, that that's just my view of it, you know. Again, I'm not an expert at this game at all. Uh, not even at this genre. Uh, although I do like it, to be honest. Uh, okay, so this alien is sort of, hmm, I might just fall back and reload my weapon here. So yeah, you do need to reload, by the way. Um, it takes one turn, one half turn. This guy is completely being flanked and stuff, but it, they just keep missing him. It's pretty impressive. Oh, not him though. 12 damage, wow. He might die now. Yep. Oh no. See the rocks melting away? <laughs> it's pretty cool. Those are the things that I like about this game. Uh, okay, let's get you there. And... Oh, 17%. Oops. How is that 17%? <laughs> Again, maybe it's just the wrong genre for me. I don't know. But... Uh, it's just it's just weird to me. You're like you're standing right next to him. You're supposed to be the world's best sniper, and he, I understand it if it's like melee range, so you stand like five feet from him. But really, like how he I could hit that, uh, probably. <laughs> there you go. I think these are the last, probably, because uh, there's a ton of aliens in here. So I think that's usually less. Oh, he's panicked. Because of his ability. Hmm. That's fine. Who am I selecting? Are there? Uh, the good thing about this game so far, uh, no bugs. At least I haven't found any. Now, that doesn't say that there's no bugs, but... Uh, pretty impressive nonetheless. Now, running gun. So how far can we get with that? So we could go all the way here and then shoot him in the face. How's that sound? Now, okay, so I hit him, but there was 70% chance. How does that work? <laughs> I'm literally right next to him. Anyways, I, probably, I should probably stop whinging about that, because that's just a personal preference, probably. Um, yeah, that's just something that I don't understand about the game. Or that annoys me. Like, how can this be 24%? You know, that I'm going to miss this, but... Oh, actually, it hits it, or whatever. But 27%, it's just... He's right in front of you. You can throw a stone and hit him. Oh, frag grenade. Ow. He's still panicked. Which is, uh, sometimes he's, he hits his own teammates as well, which is pretty funny. <clears throat> I'm not saying anything. I'm over it. I'm not saying anything. Cool. Come on, pop off. Uh... How about you go here and then shoot him from the back? No dark what? Oh, okay. Well, don't then. That's fine. 24%. No. Oh, that hits it again. That's good. No mind. So, done. Uh, alien skill 12. Rating ex excellent. Uh, results 1. Rating good. Because I killed one of my dudes. Well, I lost him. I didn't kill him. I lost him. Which is a bit annoying because she was my best uh, my best sniper. But, yeah. We'll train another one. Uh, training only, as far as, as far as I know at least, it only goes in missions. So you can't train him apart from that. Um, so he's got will to survive. Reduce all normal damage taken by two if in cover and not flank. That's pretty good. 
Cool. So these are the parts I got back. So three sectoid commander corpses, nine mutant corpses, some illyrium, alien alloys, weapon fragments, UFO power swords, flight computers. Whew. And we can use these. So if I go to uh, engineering and then build some stuff, for example, let's build a skeleton suit. It'll say we need seven alloys and 15 engineers for that. Uh, carapace armor, nine alloys, 10 engineers. Titan armor needs eight Illyrium, 30 alloys, 25 engineers. So, I'm at, uh, ooh, it's very expensive. 130, that's insane. Let's make one. <laughs> Just to see how it looks. Uh, let's give it to, oh god, they're all, they're all wounded. Hmm. Give it to Popoff, because he's my heavy. No, he's not, he's my assault. But he's pretty awesome. He's been alive forever. 19 missions, 50, uh, 42 kills. Pretty nice. Titan armor. With the added oh wow. Support this suit provides, I expect the troops to take full advantage oh. Of okay. He likes the flames, but his head is out. Isn't that... Targets. Okay. Well, whatever. Whatever. So, yep, yeah, I've got the laser rifle and la a scatter laser, which is like a shotgun. Upgraded shotgun, which is pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah, I think I showed you guys everything that is uh, up with XCOM. Uh, the only thing I haven't shown you probably is that you can expand your base uh, like this. So, I've got some workshops here and all that good stuff. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with the game. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying myself. Although, as I said, it's sort of... It's sort of stopped at the moment as I just it, it seems to be too much of the same after a few hours, you know, so I'm not sure this is a triple A title well supposedly full price so You know at least in Australia you pay 70 bucks for it. I think is it worth it 70 bucks? I don't know for me. It was for me. It's not just because I Got kind of bored of it after about five hours, which that's not enough for me So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time